Congratulations, Final Four. You are almost at the end of this adventure. Follow the map from your camp through the jungle to Redemption Island Beach. There you will find the torches of your fallen comrades. At each torch, you will collect a symbolic mass of those who were voted out before you. At the end of your journey, you will offer them up in a ceremonial burning, paying respect to their memory as they each had a part in setting you to this point. You will then proceed to your final immunity challenge. So this morning we got tree mail and it basically said we had to go through the rite of passage with all of our fallen comrades. After we pay our respects, we were supposed to go to our last community challenge. And I gotta tell you, I got to this far, but I've got this far in the past. And I wasn't able to close the deal. This time I gotta close. I gotta finish it. Francesca, I'm so glad our time together was so short. You called me crazy, but you left out my middle and last name. Crazy like a fox. <laughs> I definitely just didn't expect that I would be the first person to go home, but I actually surprised myself. I never felt like giving up at all. I fought from the beginning to the end, so I'm proud of the fact that the game didn't break me down. Russell. In a way, we kind of all owe him a big thank you. He was such a pain in the ass that his own tribe voted him out, and that's what got the ball rolling for Omatepe. It was my pleasure when he put out my torch. I didn't want to be no part of that tribe. You know, my original Dumbass Girl Alliance? Shoot, this tribe ain't got nothing on them. I'm going to write a book, Survivor for Dummies. I'm going to send it to every single one of them. Because they didn't come to play Survivor. Christina. <laughs> yeah, Christina, you really did yourself in right from the start. Just a different way of playing the game, I guess. Not the way we wanted to play. I'm really proud of my game. My back was against the wall right from the beginning, and I fought back. My only regret is even speaking to Philip. I didn't know the depth of the insanity. If I'd stayed clear of him, yeah, I might still be there. She teamed up with Russell from the beginning. That's probably her biggest downfall. I thought the social game and surviving in the elements was going to be the same in terms of difficulty. I could have handled the conditions, but my tribe said that I just didn't fit in. And I mean, unfortunately, I had to agree with them. <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie. For someone that wasn't even on our tribe, she helped us a lot. Yep. The last two minutes that she spent in this game, she gave us more information about her own tribe, and I think anybody that helped us in a big way. Thank you, Stephanie. I thought there was gonna be cutthroat people, like Russell and I, but that wasn't the case at all. People were wanting to get in touch with their feminine side and their feelings. So I was coming in there with like a machete and cutting heads off, but now looking back at it, of course, I was a little too aggressive. Sarita. For me, the hardest thing was not being able to hold my own. I went in thinking that I was a really strong competitor, but I was weak. I mean, there are flash floods. There are poisonous snakes. You just want to be home. It is gnarly. No one in their right mind would ever do it. This looks like this uh, is Redemption. This is Redemption Island. Okay. This is the shelter they had for a month. That's rough. Wow. Glad none of us had to experience I know. That. This might have been what our shelter looked like. Had we not all worked together. <laughs> As a team, yeah, really. You know, even though we didn't spend a lot of time with David, I could tell he was a really intelligent guy and a huge strategic threat. I'm glad we got him out when we did. I had, I had a lot of respect for that kid. 
It's been very frustrating having a group of people that don't want to listen to me. More often than not, I turned out to be right, but I had more fun than I ever could have possibly imagined in the course of this. liked her, I thought she was a really genuine person and she struggled a lot missing her girls but I think she definitely made them proud being out here. Yeah, it was pretty cool, you know, she's struggling with what a lot of Americans are struggling with right now and, you know, at least she came out here and tried to give it a shot and uh, that's more than, it's more than a lot of people are doing. At home, I'm in a financial whirlwind. My house is currently in foreclosure, so I came here for the money period. But, boy, was I wrong. I'm leaving Survivor with so much more than I had ever dreamed of. My experience and what I'm taking home is worth so much more than money can buy. Steve, the wounded dinosaur. He kept saying he wanted to go home, he wanted to go home. And we liked that kind of spirit because it meant you brought the rest of your tribe down. So see you buddy, you're finally at home. I just tried to play this game with integrity, but there was some ugly twists in there. You know, like Philip was accusing me of stealing the shorts, some prejudice issues that was about him, and it all proved false. So I'm extremely proud of the way I played the game. I really could hold my head high. Ralph, <laughs> he's really a sweet guy and he worked super hard around camp. And yes. Yes. <laughs> he was really, really cute. Yes. Yeah. I was surprised I at how emotional he got, you know. It definitely shows that, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. I'm not what you call wealthy, by no means. I've never been to another country, but I see right now I can live off a whole lot less. Survivor sure made a believer out of me and it's tough. And I always thought, man, I can't go without underwear. I found out I can. Grant, I mean, this guy was the truest competitor and friend I think I've ever had in this game, with the exception of my wife. I mean, we pushed each other to be better every single day and uh, Seeing him go was definitely the toughest thing I've seen in a long time. Coming from playing in the NFL, I was confident I would read people, and my plan was to see Rob in the final with myself, have two great competitors duke it out at the end, and uh, I got duped by, by Rob. Was the relationship really true? I, I can't say. I don't know. such a happy, friendly kid, which might have hurt him in this game. He was here for 29 days, and he sure seemed to be a beacon for a lot of people that came through uh, Redemption Island. Well, I'm so glad he never came back in the game. Yeah. Me too. He's a tough competitor. We just wanted to throw him out a third time. <laughs> but we would have. Well, we <laughs> Spending 29 days on Redemption Island has really increased my faith because my whole life I've relied on God and depended on God, but not with the entirety of my being. And, and when you're thrown in the most extreme conditions and you have to rely fully on God, I've, I've reaped so many benefits from, from the two blind sides that I couldn't see at the time, but now I'm just so grateful for. guy out here. Definitely a fierce competitor. He was first on our list out of all of the Zapatera to vote out. That's right. And it was just because uh, of what he brought to the table. I've been through some very difficult times being in combat with the Marine Corps, but even on deployment we had MREs, we had sustenance. Uh, I've never gone through something with this limited amount of food and having to dig as, as deep as possible as you can for that inner strength to just take one step after the next and make it to the next day. Oh, Andrea. 
I want to thank her too. I'm sure we all do for defeating, you know, Grant, Mike, and Matt in the final duel. Yeah, that was huge. She was a hard worker. I liked Andrea. Good person. Great, great competitor. Mm. Going into the final duel, I definitely think I was the big underdog. I don't think anyone expected me to win, and I did. I actually got a shot to go back into the game. Unfortunately, I couldn't keep up the winning streak. I came just short, but I'm really proud of how far I came. Final four, guys. Final four, right here. Oh, Omatepe. Omatepe. All Omatepe. Can you spark it up? Spark this bad boy up. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, baby. <laughs> Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, amazing. 